Hi everybody, I'm playing Tyler, coming to you again from Northeastern Ontario, Bigfoot Barn. I don't know if I'll be in there. Um, I try to keep these videos short, it makes it easier to upload. I got We got crappy rural internet. Um, I'm going to get a new camera soon. I'll have to get a new laptop or something to work with the big files and the new video cards and all that. Um, but I just wanted to give you an update. I'm still doing research. In fact, right behind me, I found 20 inch prints, like two or three of, uh, of a stride going across that open area in like the kind of uh, muddy, um, uh, dried up uh, uh, dirt from the, when, it, when it overruns in the spring. And not too far away this way, I got the picture of that seven footer, the marsh guy, you know, standing like this. And that was a follow up shot to when I seen him before, kind of like on a uh, piece of part of the land that jets out, but he was gone before I get out of my car. So a uh, good area, also it's blocked by the wind here so you can hear me. My mic's gone on my camera a little bit. Um, but anyway, oh yeah, I wanted to mention how to hunt guy Steve, you know, um, he's doing a good job. He's calling out uh, a lot of the D-bags in the community, the groups who've been harassing witnesses and harassing smaller groups or individuals, trying to terrorize them off the, out, of the, out of the field so that they can be the elite ones that get up on, uh, get paid to, to be on conferences or on TV shows. Ever notice all the guys who you think are the elite have no footage of their own? Because they're phonies, they're bullshitters, and they just know how to exploit it the best. That's all they're good at. And then uh, behind the scenes, they attack everybody who's good in the field because they don't want to be supplanted by real deal researchers like myself or Timber Giant. All right, so I'll just include a picture of this guy here, seven footer, watching me take a picture of where I spotted him before. Um, I got a video on this. Maybe I'll add a link to that. Oh, and I also talked about him on an interview with Duke over at Word Bigfoot Radio, so maybe I'll add a link to that too. Uh, okay, so I'm back at the Bigfoot barn. Uh, I got some of my snow gear off my hat on instead of my uh, toque and uh, I don't know if I'm going to be selling these but Bigfoot Bar and stuff there it's just that you know you're wearing somebody else's merch you know store and you're like well geez I can get my own and then at least that way you know if you're going to do any promoting to help your help your channel or whatever your brand which I don't really care about I just like posting real evidence because there's so much crap out there so I don't know oh, you want to see some real cool uh, evidence let me show you some real cool evidence and uh, I talked about this on um, World Bigfoot. Um, you see that there? That's me. I don't know if that's a cripple foot I'm holding, but the, the picture on the left of the knife, that's a cripple foot. Um, I got two casts there from two different locations. And the left foot had that deformity and the right foot was normal, like over in that picture where he's leaving a stride. And um, that was going uphill at the... At the Sasquatch Dunes, I called it, just a abandoned um, sand pit quarry that I used to research at until the Suns took it over and I kind of got chased out of there. <laughs> but anyway, I had to get, I was after the real evidence, it wasn't after fame, just to bring back evidence. And then at that point in time, when real field researchers were appreciated, you became popular. But now the storytellers are the ones who are dictating everything and... Uh, I guess that's just the evolution of it, so maybe real field researchers will become in vogue again. And I'll try to put this down without too much chaos here. But anyway, yeah, so I mean, I've shown some of those things over when I was on uh, World Bigfoot Radio and a couple other, uh, do a couple of interviews. Um, real evidence, yeah, it's not as exciting, but it's real evidence. Um, but I guess, uh, like I said, uh, YouTube is 99% entertainment, and they only promote the people who they make money off of, so channels like mine get buried. But anyway, thanks for watching um, Bigfoot Barn, and I'll see you soon from the field. Alright, so I edited the Bigfoot Barn part short, so uh, I could show you some pictures. Uh, again, we got crappy internet, so I have to keep these videos relatively short. Um, so yeah, I'm firing off uh, pictures, doing my a couple selfies, doing some vids on the road. And uh, across one of those ponds, there's an adult watching me who just happened to step in an open area between trees. He's a lot bigger than he looks because there's like 18 to 2 feet thick of snow. Uh, his feet is hidden by a down log. And then that second log where I outlined it in brown is about 3 feet high. And then whatever, the log's a foot thick. So his knees are over 4 feet. Um, and then 
their overall size of them there. Yeah, it's a long distance shot, but pretty creepy cool adult watching me on back on the road taking pictures like this. See you next time.